Right, quick and easy bit of After Effects screen replacement on the phone. Let's take some footage here. This is my phone that I recorded on a desk. There we go. And what I want to do is replace the screen. So let's go to our right click and choose Track Motion. Whee, here we go. And let's change down here in the bottom right from Current Track, uh, Track Type. Here we go. We'll choose Perspective Corner Pin. And um, we've got these four boxes. Now the outside box, if you just click on that, I'll just make that a little bit, bit bigger and make the inside box a little bigger. That should do it. Uh, the outside box represents the search area, how much in every frame After Effects searches. And the inside box is the actual tracking point. So what I'm going to do is drag these right onto the corners, a nice area of contrast that hopefully the tracker, oops, I don't want to do that. You've got to be quite careful when you do these, not to just pull them sideways, to just drag the handles and then drag the point. So I'm placing these right on the corners, like so. So I'm going to just drag the handle to make this a little bit bigger, make this track point a little bigger. Of course, the bigger you make the handles, oh, I've got to drag this one as well. Oh, well, so I can't go any further down. There we go, drag that to the on the corner that's looking good and just get this one on the corner sweet oh there we go that looks about right okay so what we're going to do now is hit the analyze forward button so click on that there you go seems to be doing a nice job Alrighty. Lovely. Right, we're going to replace this screen. So I've got a little JPEG here. And it's 777 by 1200, which should fit the screen just about perfectly. Okay, so we'll drop this on top. And Mr. T-Mobile, pity him fools that don't buy his phones. So let's just go to the this layer, click on that and edit target down the bottom here and make sure it's set to layer Mr. T JPEG. Okay, hit okay and then hit apply. And there we go, Mr. T is on the screen. Now you notice just a little bit around the edge, not quite, there's a little bit of the original foam left on the edge there. So if I just hit the S key for scale, Take it maybe up to 101%. Just scale it up by, oops, what? I scale both up. One, 101. Yep, yeah, that seems to have done the trick. Okay. So what we could also do. Now what I like to do, that's just putting the JPEG on as it's a layer. But what I could do is go into the project here. Instead of just putting the image on top i could take the image and just drag it onto the new composition icon just here okay and if we go back okay so we've got a new mr t pre-comp there so i'll just take that and put that on top like we did before double click on this footage and then go to edit target and i'm going to change it from uh, mr t jpeg to mr t the pre-comp, hit OK, hit apply, and it's just done exactly the same thing. And I can hit S and scale it up to 101, just so it covers up. Oh, I've selected all three again. There we go. 101, just to get rid of that edge. But now, I just lose that JPEG that we had before. So, there you go. It's exactly the same as before, but now because it's a pre-composition, I can go into here and I can animate the screen however I want. So I could add some text. Uh, buy yours now. There we go. Maybe just uh, keyframe that. So just hit P for position. Really simple stuff. Just pull that down. Buy yours now. And then let's just have... Um, Another text layer. What would Mr. T say? Of course, he'd say 
Fools. Uh, let's just pop that there, perhaps. But it was now. Fools. Okay. And maybe just S for scale. Here we go. 100%. Put a keyframe there. Keyframe it down to 0%. Right, us now, fools. Then, of course, when we go back to our original composition, we've got Mr. T. Right, us now, fools. So we can do anything we like with our replacement screen. And that is very quick and easy phone replacement. Works on TVs, anything you like that's got four distinct corners in good old After Effects. Thank you very much. <laughs>